Aisha, it's very good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Now, look, we know that Mazda is leading this journey to support a global transition for that clean energy that so much, so many of us have been talking about. But what do you see as the key priorities ahead? Because you know what, there is so much that's happening in this space. Um, Mazda will continue to do what it does best as a developer and investor of renewable energy. So we will continue to focus on what we do best. We will continue to focus on large-scale projects as well as small to medium-sized projects, be it solar, be it wind, waste to energy, energy storage. Uh, um, we'll continue to do that. But what's interesting is that what's new for Mazda um, on its radar is this attention on green hydrogen. So this is one of the key um, uh, energy source that we're actively seeking. We're looking at the potential of adding green hydrogen as part of the energy mix, and we're happy to explore what Mazda can do as a developer and investor in that area. It sounds like as, as if you've got a very agile company which is able to take on these areas, in, in actual fact leading the way for others to follow. We've always been the renegade, so we've always done what's not expected in a traditional oil and gas industry. So we've been doing it for 16 years. So even when the world is skeptical, we still persevered. And even when the technologies were not very developed, we continue to explore and we continue to invest. And 16 years down the line, Mazdar is in over 40 countries and six continents. Our overall capacity is over 30 gigawatts. Our total investment size is 30 billion US dollars. And um, what we do for the environment and UAE's commitment to the climate change um, is something that's quite remarkable and we, are, we continue to be committed to it. Moving forward, Mazdar continues to have very ambitious plans. We intend to grow as a powerhouse with the new shareholders on board. So not only Mubadala, but also Adnok and Taqa. And um, we have very ambitious targets. We want to grow to 100 gigawatts. We want uh, for renewable energy. And for green hydrogen, we are aiming to have 100 million tons worth of green hydrogen in our projects moving forward. It's quite a journey, and I wish you well on that, but I'm sure that you'll get there. But, but given everything that you're doing now and what you plan to do for the future, why do you think that events like ADSW are so important, not just for Mazda, but also to ensure that this dialogue and this desire to bring about change actually happen if we're going to meet that zero carbon agenda? I think Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week and its 15th edition is a testament that Mazdar as its host is not only committed to translating the strategies of the UAE, but also is able to talk to all the important stakeholders, uh, be it heads of states, decision makers, the business community, as well as society representatives. I was last night in an event for IRENA, Women in Diplomacy, and they emphasized the importance of society uh, um, representation, be it in women or youth, and Mazdar does that. So we know how to bring people together, and to look at policy, to look at ideas, to look at thoughts and make it happen. I think this is one of the key things that Mazdar has proved over the years. We translate what's on paper, we translate in what's in, in, in terms of strategies and, and targets, and we're able to translate that into actionable outcomes, uh, be it in terms of the climate change mitigation or committing to renewable energy uh, projects and investments. Okay, look, there's plenty more to talk about, but sadly, time is the enemy. But look, we've got a really good idea about what Mazdar is doing, where it's going, and I'm sure that uh, when we talk to you again, perhaps next year, or the year after, who knows, those numbers will be even bigger, bigger than what you forecast. But Aisha, thank you so much for joining us. That was Aisha al Aidarus, and she is the Head of Business Support, Clean Energy for Mazdar.